Hell, it's hot in here. All right, so uh, last you left off, you delved into the mist, uh, hoping uh, again after an, yeah. a failure. Uh, you'd hope we to, survived uh, this time. Yeah, and you hope to uh, find a uh, something in the mist that would help you uh, deal with the curse of uh, some unfortunate people in a small village uh, named Don Call. No. Uh, yes. Uh, and uh, the curse that is inflicted on them. And uh, you found at the end of a cave, uh, after dealing with some ink demons, you'd found a uh, what seemed to be uh, the source of the curse. You picked it up, and uh, the corpse saw the corpses of their parents, and you decided uh, you got out of the mist, and then you headed to Don Call. Uh. How do you spell Don Call? You have it in your fucking notebook. Do I? Okay, nice. Oh, I, I... do. Uh, and then you, uh, yeah, you went back. You're in Don Call. Wait. Yay! 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 I wonder how those kids are doing. They're dead. Oh, man! Oh. Everyone in Don Call is dead. Oh, why though? Yeah. Those, those, uh, why no. now? Nostra! Yeah. Those you fucking see, idiots. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is Don Call on the map again? Uh, one guy in a trench coat with an AK 47 and he's leaving. <laughs> Where do you get that tech? <laughs> anyway. The Where AK did he get seven, The spear of the modern world. <laughs> Why the fuck is Don Call on the map? Uh, it's not. I didn't put it down anywhere. Wow, we're Whatever. we're in limbo. It's over here. Over there. Yeah, it's over here. Like in, within that circle. That's a pretty yeah. big radius. Yeah, right in the middle of it. Anyway. So yeah, you're there. We there. There's here. Uh, yeah, yeah. One of the residents perks up at seeing your arrival and says, "Oh." You're you're back. How did it go this time? Um, Agus presents the uh, presents the object he was given. Oh, the object. The object. The curse. The, the object. Thing. Uh, the MacGuffin. The, the thing of a bulb. I did forget what it was. Yes. I. I'm sure one of you has it in your inventory. Scepter. We? Scepter. Sector. 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 Was it a sector? Truly? I I think it was some kind of stick wand sector thing. Like it might have been a cup or something. It might be. A... <clears throat> yeah. Then. Don't die. Oh, I'll just give it a fucking go. Something. Wow. Cool something. <laughs> cool something. I can't believe we're missing the point of whatever this object is. The moral lesson, don't fuck with a hedge wizard. Or a witch. If I'm someone sure. worships a big tree, they win. That's true. A tree? Wait a, a minute. Trium. Wait, last time we, we encountered a tree people worshipped, it didn't end well. I feel like yeah, atriums that... were named when someone forgot what the place where they keep trees is called. <laughs> Delayed reaction. You should tweet that. No, I'm gonna take a big, quick trip. To uh, to the last uh, upload. Just, just remember what it, what it was. The last upload of what? Of oh, Hemlock this. Dungeon World. Yeah. So yeah, you're back, but you're back in the village. Feel free to have a scene. <laughs> okay. Okay. Feel free yeah. while you do your research. Yeah. Hmm. 
Well, we need to talk to each other, though, because we can't talk to NPCs. Yeah, this is the tricky part, is we've been out of the game for a few weeks now, and now it's like, shit. What do we have Me, to talk about? Me, I to talk to Corum, and then I remembered, wait, no, he's also an NPC. I'll play Corum, it's like, man. Oh, wait, why can't we talk to... Why can't, can't we talk no, to... Oh, yeah. Being, because... I love being an elf, me. It's, uh, grand. I fucking love it. What's it like? Uh, me ears are knife-like, and, uh... <laughs> I, I once ratted us out, because I didn't think anything through. <laughs> we don't have many elves in my country. Good. I'll play Snake's character. This is place Corum. You know Corum. Despite it all, you're the good one. You're one of the good elves. N no, I'm not one of the good elves. I'm one of the wood elves. That's what I said. The good elves. Corum, do you know how to bake cookies? The elves I met before lived in a tree and were very good at baking cookies. Is that for the Americans? I don't. I don't fucking know. I don't know if like that cultural reference crosses oceans. I don't know. Hmm. It was a, an old wives' tale about this hmm. um, magical sorcerer who lived in the far north, who enslaved a bunch of elves and forced them to build toys, and that's where all toys come from, from elf slaves. And, you know, wives would, or, you know, like, mothers would tell it to their children when their children were begging for toys for an excuse as to why to not buy them toys. When are we going to kill Sansa? <laughs> Good question. Who is Santa? I'm not sure if Aegis, like, Aegis's death move swapped when I did the class switch, because his old one was just, you can throw a guaranteed, like, hit with the spear, and if it's, you know, and it's got, and it can, it'll hit whatever and have some grand narrative effect. Yeah. But now on the new one, it's like, when I die, I apparently had some fucking behind-the-scenes grand plan going that will be triggered with my death. Which, you know, I don't really buy of Aegis. Maybe, maybe you have to, like, interpret it. Maybe it wasn't a plan to, like, do something. Maybe it was just a plan to, like, I don't know, make Axe happy or something, you know? I don't like, think, I don't think Aegis would do any dumb shit like that. Aegis would do, oh, you know what we should do just to fuck with Neil? Let's swap character for this session. I, no, I don't think we're going to do that. It's okay, I can play Asora. Oh, I, I am an Asora. I've got brain damage. Well, really got her to a T. I know. Right, well, Allow let me, me to let be me, open. Let me, I'll take over Axe. Hey, I'm Axe. I've got brain damage. <laughs> hey, now. No, 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 no. Snake, he refers to himself in a third person. Uh, me Axe. Axe got brain damage. It's good, and M... Alright, look at me. I'm Aegis. I have my big functioning brain. <laughs> I'm gonna come up with some scheme using my brain. Yeah, using my undamaged brain. <laughs> look at you... me. I'm Aegis. I carry a big spear because I'm insecure about my four-inch dick. <laughs> Hello, I am Asora. I'm gonna make uh, combat super easy because I'm power gamed and OP. You played Victor. I mean, he wasn't power gamed, he was just. I just had good rolls. <laughs> Victor had literally had a move where he could just become mortal and not die. Like, well, I mean, so did. Yeah, the and uh, when I used it, the GM said no. Mm. What did I say? Not you, another okay. GM. It was, also, uh, it, was an, it was an idol, by the way. Idol? Nice. Yeah, idol. So it, was a, it was a glowing, it was a white, a faint, with a faint white glow. I'm picturing, like, an Oscar. Nice. So, yeah, what, what, what's going on? 
Uh, we've taken over. Brother Lotus is currently deadlifting the car. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, it's a Yale. I, Yale. I um, Nostra and Yalebird had a really good conversation. Jailbird's not here. Not here. Yeah. Yeah, no. Well, shut up. Okay, they had a deep, Neo. Deep... You remember the when in Cyanide and Happiness when the authors did like a comic like based on how each other writes comics? Yeah. We 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 were just doing that for each other's characters. Just... <sighs> oh, okay. I am a Sora. What we I, really realize I would be is really that Axe and, Az Ax and Azora are basically the same, though <clears throat> one refers to themselves in the third person. That's true. Meanwhile, Aegis has a small dick and a big brain. <laughs> no, he has a functional. He has a functional brain. Big brain. The dick is not functional. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop to me! I'm Aegis. Allow me to come up with a plan. You know. Aegis has a four-inch dick and carries a big old spear. Axe has a four-inch dick and carries a big old axe. Lotus has, or Quorum uh, has an eleven-inch dick and only uses like a bow and arrow and like a knife and a trap and other non-phallic weapons. Well, yeah, but here's what I'm saying about that: it's like, dick big, and doesn't even you use say they're big, but they have a longer effective range, so I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yeah. I present what, the idol, and... Yeah, he, yeah, he looks at the idol and says, Ooh, spooky vibes coming off that thing. What is it? It's the source <laughs> of the curse. It has a faint white glow. Oh, shit. Uh, touching it ain't gonna give me what they got, right? Well, he touched it, so... I guess I we'll guess find out. When he does or doesn't transform. Uh, well, uh... Let's see. You're, uh... Oh, wait, what time would it be? Yeah. Uh, we got back pretty late. Alright, so yeah, it's nice. It says, well, uh, y your people are sleeping. I suppose we'd better leave them to it. Yeah. Run in for the night, and we can talk it over in the morning. Mm. Alright. Meanwhile, in the morning... Yeah, uh, the, the house. The any leftover off. food, you know, have some yep. supper. There is. Yep. Yeah. Crunch. Half of my health is full. Crunch, crunch, crunch. We're half HP, right? Uh huh. I am on 27 out of 28 health after this. <sighs> Oh, whack. Let's see my health. My health is on thing, but I am scarred, and I can't remember when, when I got scarred. That was oh, when you got... got yeah, fucking we, murked. It's been... Yeah. Yeah. yeah you waited I think from you one had two debilities, and you... Yeah, you waited for one of them one. to heal off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Which yep. means that you'd need an extra night to mark that off. Mm-hmm. So yeah, head up to our bedroom and, you know, sleep in my chair or whatever. A rock sleep chair. in an actual bed. <laughs> Angus uh, sleeps in the cot. Oh yeah, I forgot you were doing that. Um, Axe sleeps. Axe sleeps. Yes. He just Bells, yeah. turns off. There's just a whirring noise. He powers <laughs> down, stood up. BRB guys going FK. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. We'll have nice. a good night's rest. And uh, I guess we'll see Sweet, you all. Well done. I guess I'll see you all next week. All right. Bye. Yeah, no. <laughs> That was such a good game, Neil. <laughs> Characters had a nice kip. We need to RP our characters' dreams. Yeah. Alright, so. Next morning comes. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
There's a knock at uh, the door of the room you're sleeping in, Azora. Okay, yeah, go to open it. About, like, how early is this? Uh, it's like, uh, eight. eight. Okay, so I'm probably up by now. Um, But yeah, I go to open the door. Yeah, alright, so uh, at the uh, other end of it is uh, Nathreya. Oh, and hi. She sees, she sees you, it's like, oh, yeah, you, okay, so... Uh, where are, where are the others? Uh, still sleeping outside. Uh, oh, uh, I, y you guys never sleep in the same place. It's always, it's always got to run around to find you all. Uh, so I thought Nostra and I were in the same room. It doesn't matter. Uh, but... uh so, uh, they, when I woke up, one of the villagers told me you all came back with, uh, with, with, with the source of the curse. Uh, I believe so, at least. We found it in a cave. There were bodies around. Okay, well, we're going to have to go see what we can do about that. Right. Let's go, uh, Astra. Yeah, let's go get everyone, huh? Mm -hmm. yep. So yeah, you go around, uh, she, you know, go yeah. around to collect Axe and Aegis. Who had the idol on them? Aegis. Yeah. Aegis. So I, when I'm up, Axe uh, awakens. When I'm up, first off, morning drills. Oh shit. Oh, true. Yeah. Is that what you say when they come to you? <laughs> That's pretty it's much. Like... Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, but, but the. The uh, idol, the curse. It's not going anywhere. Uh, I I guess. Okay. Yeah, I just feel weird, you know, if those people see us and they're uh, and they just see us doing drills and we could be. It might be better. And Azora does agree with Nasser. It might be better to find out if we need to do anything more. You know, if time is still of the essence. Okay. It would probably to make sure first, then do drills. Uh, Aegis presents the <laughs> idol. Huh, alright, uh... Ooh, wow, that's a vibe! Um... Yeah, she, uh, kind of recoils at, at, like, after getting a little close to it. Yeesh. You just hear Axe shouting, VIBE chick. <laughs> I stab him. Ouch. <laughs> Careful. Don't touch it if you don't have to. Uh, Aegis has been touching it. I don't. Oh, do I feel? Action. Do I feel weird? Uh, I don't think so. No, I I was asking that out of character. Neo, does Aegis oh, oh, feel oh. weird? Uh, you, you feel like a little creeped out. I would say, like, okay. it's, it's like a sort of like a pit in your stomach. Like you know, it just it just it's a very bad vibes idol. You know, it, right. it gives you a very like uh like it's just kind of haunting to be around feels yeah. bad man. An upsetting this thing, thing this thing gives me the creeps just to touch it oh i don't think i'm at least hoping on the fact that it won't do anything to me and from what little i could get from talking to the parents uh they were <coughs> apologetic that this had happened yeah, she's studying it. Uh, okay, all right. And she's like flipping through a book, through one of her tomes. Uh, okay. Looks like we're going to need to bring this to. Okay, okay. We we can do this. We can do this. Uh, we just gotta get to uh. We got we got to get them all in one place. We got to place this thing in the center, and then uh, I gotta, well, I gotta, I gotta do some. All uh, right. I'll figure that out on the way there. Yeah. All right. Let Let's you know, splitting up and let's split up and round everyone up. So, Good you know, thinking. Forum Lotus. Uh, you know, Rain. Let's split up, gang. All of us. Yeah. Yeah. Go around town, uh, rounding uh, everyone who. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. You need the uh, yeah, the infect, the, the cursed people. You need the cursed people all in, all in the same place. Go collect the cursed. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Yeah. Go around and get them. Yeah. Uh, they all doors. see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Every time you tell one, like they almost don't believe you. They, like, you tell them that, like they might have a care. It's like they, they like resign themselves, to, like this being just a fact of life forever. And like one of them, just you're serious. You, you really found. Found oh, as we won't know until we try it. Oh. What happened to our parents? They carried they hope to carry the curse out into the mist where <clears throat> it wouldn't do any harm. They didn't think this would, con they didn't think it would go on to you and they're sorry. Oh. Oh. Well. Shit. Alright. Oh, God, I hope this works. Thank you, by the way. Don't thank don't thank us yet. Even if it doesn't work yet at least knowing that parents try their best, it's it's something. Well let's get this over with. Let's Okay, so uh the cursed people, uh, I believe there's five of them. I think I said there were five. Yeah. Uh, they all, all sit around sort of in a circle with uh, the, Master has them all sit around the circle with the idol at the center and uh, each of them holding their hands out towards it. Uh, and uh, Nastria flips through her book. Yeah. And, uh, has them all do the right things, you know, sends out some incantations, holding her hands out, and uh, the vital starts, uh, th the vital, the idol starts to vibrate, uh, sort of shakes pretty violently, uh, rolling around in the center before falling over and uh, crumbling to dust. Nice. And uh, the is, other yeah, and Azora does sort of look to Nostria like, you know, signaling with her eye like, yeah, what was supposed to happen? I, yeah, she uh, looks at you like nods like very rapidly as uh, the other as the five people all just kind of like hunch over and like immediately all fall down onto the floor. Uh, briefly, Azora uh, sort of like yeah runs up to one, but very before... briefly. But, but yeah, yeah, they they all like immediately like kind of recover. Like they all open their eyes and they're like, "Ooh, what the?" F one of them just says, "Ah, oh, feels like a, goddamn, uh, feels like I just took a ten-story drop. Ah, oh, knocked the wind out of me. Something like knocked the wind out of me there." And uh, are you kinda... okay? Yeah, actually, uh. I feel re-energized. <sighs> re-energized is good, and you know, I sort of look to Nas confirm yeah. that yeah, re-energized is good, right? Yeah, Nasia nods, nods. Yeah, just like very you know, wide-eyed. What <sighs> is is that? I Aegis is like having no imagination. Just like, is that idol like more evil now? Does it have the <sighs> Curse. What are we looking for? Are, are we gonna have to end up fucking throwing, giving throwing it to someone? Throwing it into volcano, throwing it into the, into the acid moors to destroy Oh, I it. meant like uh, someone who, like, either really strong of mind or something to just <laughs> not, uh, you well, know, succumb to it. The, whoever, the, it's not affecting any people anymore, it's just, but there's probably still some remnant of its magic in the dust, but not enough to really harm anyone anymore. That's good. Great work. Ah, <sighs> wow. Still, it would probably be better to, I don't know, bury that, do you think? Or, you're, you're the expert on this sort of thing, not me. It's... It's so each the dust makes it so diluted that it really won't do anything to anyone. All right. Uh, maybe a small animal. 
Yeah, let's make a squirrel just fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like Bella used to fight. Hmm. Funny to think it causes so much grief, this little thing. So, I suppose it doesn't matter what's done with it now. Yeah, they all just kind of get up. Yeah. And they just kind of approach it. One of them approaches it and just says... Uh, just says, uh, I'll keep it in a jar. We'll scatter it somewhere someday. No oh, cool. Coffee tin. Yeah. And I just start gathering it, and Australia just, like, wipes her forehead and says, like, oh, okay. Uh, am I excused from morning drills for doing that? Good job? I, I just looks at Azora. I'm like, is that good discipline? Maybe you'll get an extra break if you're looking tired. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh. And Azora sort of, you know, goes up and, you know, pats on her shoulder. Hey, don't worry. Besides, you did good today. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's do this. All right, and yeah, uh, you are, yeah, each, all, all, all the curse victims, like, you know, give you their thanks. Like, they're like, Apologetic that they don't really have anything to offer you, but no, he gets waves. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all right, it's the least I could do. Mm -hmm. We did kill one of them. <clears throat> well, I killed one of them. You, you didn't, you guys realized in time and didn't. I was too hasty, beastie, beastie. Forget, did you take did you take the mist shield back with you and the second go around did you just i believe we did so i've got to return All right. so i'm gonna go and return that to the old man yeah so many bonds do i have shield one armor but that's hmm. well yeah i, I go, I go... The shield. huh did you have a different shield, or was that the shield? I, I believe I think, I think it was I, the shield, because yeah. I lost a shield. That's right, yeah. Yeah, you did lose a shield. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. So I go, I go back to the old... I head back to the old man's house. Yeah, the granddaughter, you know, welcomes you in and says, ah, uh, heard you got back, uh, heard you got back safe? Yep, and we found what yeah. we were looking for. Oh. Mm. Oh, well, uh, granddad's by the fireplace. Mm-hmm. I, I walk on over with the sh with the shield. Came to return came to return this. We're heading out shortly. Oh, found what you were looking for then. Yep, and hopefully, yeah. hopefully those people are fixed. You saw? Did you see? Uh, did you see their bodies? I did. Um, it's been a while, so can I explain, just, you know, Aegis yeah. recaps what he saw of the bodies, too. What, yeah, what yeah, happened, man. yeah. And, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, he heard their voices, I hear one of them talk, one of them spoke to him from beyond as well. Yeah. Well, that's uh, how we knew about the apology. Uh, hmm. So, damn. They got close. All that was between them and solving that thing was a Two of the nastiest creatures in the mist. <sighs> How did yeah. you, what did you put their odds as when you when you helped ferried them in? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I figured they'd get I figured they'd get slashed by a wayward demon uh, about a day after I left them. Or that, or they would have bailed into into the scrap heap. I guess they would. Uh, I guess they were determined. They're made of sterner stuff than I thought. It's nice to know. They tried. And yeah, he uh, hangs the uh, shield up back on the wall. It's good that this thing got to get put to use again. So this what? This the rest of your life then? Waiting out. Waiting out here, keeping an eye on the mist. 
Are you trying to recruit him? I'm genuinely, <laughs> I'm genuinely not. That was just like that was a genuine question. Yeah. Snake, you can't go f one game without trying to recruit someone. <laughs> yeah, Another old man. Uh, yeah. You know, so. you look like you could need a job. I'm a, I have one. Uh, I mean, next my advice helped you, didn't it? It did. It came in handy. Uh, might be, be a, a good way to treat retirement. Yeah. I uh, can't exactly stop people from going in there. People are bullheaded and don't know what's best for their own health. Best I can How about your is... granddaughter? Is she employed? <laughs> best I can do my the best I can do in my twilight years is at least try to make it a little less lethal. Your advice helped us, so I thank you. It's a good thing you're doing. Of course, you have a you have a good you have a good life, son. And uh, try to avoid going back if you can. Trust me, I'm not itching to get back in there. Smart man. Yeah, he sits back down. And Aegis heads off. Nice. Okay, so uh, what's the thing for uh, the drills again? Like you have like a I roll wisdom. Coming. Oh, you do it. Okay. Oh, it was an Aegis thing. Um, I think it's like they're like um, co-leading it. Yeah, it's right. like doing different drills. Oh, I was thinking of militia. All right. No, yeah, I have um, always ready, and for and I'll make a man out of you. So seven to nine, gain plus one forward to your next combat move. Um, right. let's give that to, let's say Corm and Axe. All right. Oh boy. So, I'm got, I got a thing. Yep. Next combat roll. Take a plus one to that. Same for Corm. Oh. oh boy. I can't, wait, does it have to be the next, next one? Or can I save it to it's use it to? No, it is not a hold. It is a plus one forward. If I had gotten a 10 plus... Ah, okay. A hold one, but unfortunately. And I'm really gonna make my first combat action count. Yeah. I, I mean, for you, you could rage up. <laughs> don't get, don't sound uh, too excited about noise. the thing that you always do. It's a good Axe rage noise. Feeling, Axe isn't feeling too angry at the moment. <laughs> yeah, but we're not in combat at the moment. My. <laughs> All right, you, he sees fucking Aegis and just rages. On the one. <laughs> you could, when we enter combat, you could use that plus one forward to. Yeah, no, I know. I am just missing. Out. I am. I He's just I am not, trashing you. I'm not like Axe. I have a comprehensive, <laughs> comprehensive abilities. You do. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I'm not quite so. I don't know which I find funny that. or just the you. The implication that Axe does not have comprehensive abilities, or the bizarre boast of "Don't worry, I have comprehensive <laughs> abilities." Comprehension, comprehension. I think, whatever. I see. I see. Comprehension. <sighs> All right. So, uh, your next destination, I believe, is uh, the. Uh... The uh, engineer, right? Yeah. Joker, you're several days late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully, hopefully he's thinks we ditched her. Jailbird went through so much to help us out and gain our trust, and we just forgot about her. <laughs> we just left yeah. her with the incredibly expensive thing we paid for. It's like, wow. Yeah. Either they paid a lot of money to get rid of me, or they're dead. <laughs> And I'm not we get sure which is Jailbird's worse. like married, settled down, has a baby. <laughs> she has like an egg wrapped in a swaddle. <clears throat> but yeah, let, let's head head on back. All right. So who's navigating? I guess me. Very cool. <clears throat> Who's scouting ahead? I, I I assume me. 
Because we're not in the uh, swamp place, so. That's true. No, as far as quarter matching provisions, let's see, Reina, Reina, Reina. I think you can have Reina do that for you. Uh, I mean, I feel like if we hire a chef, the chef should be quartermastering, you know? I I mean, yeah, but like, like there's like a thing that she... Or like at least do. assisting the PC who makes the roll. But if there's a move, then... Yeah, then... it's like a <laughs> fine ingredient. She uh, gets... It That's like yeah. a special so, thing, though. We that... Well, I'll Make have her do... It. You know, I'll just say that, uh, yeah, the villager does manage to provide her with, like, the villagers do manage to provide her with, like, you know, a nice piece of uh piece of uh meat. Real and also some food. <laughs> All right, now, uh, a <laughs> nice little uh, you know, uh, uh, some good poultry, I suppose. Fresh poultry, and and it's an automatic success. Out of thank you. We killed some chickens on the way in. Just killed the little fucks. What? <laughs> We had to sneak up on them. It was considered foul play. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Oh, so I should scout, shouldn't I? Yes. Uh. You know what? I know. Hmm. So, okay. Oh dear. Oh, that's so sad. I just that is. Can't navigate. Let us navigate. Man, yeah. I'm so successful. I'm just yeah. wildly unstoppable. I swear, yeah. <laughs> wildly unstoppable. I'm so <laughs> unstoppable that you choose what I do, and several of them slow me down or stop me. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Well, do me a favor and roll a 3d12. Doesn't, uh, you know, I'm just going to say, doesn't M have to decide what she's doing first or did uh, she? She failed. Oh, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing nothing. Oh, uh, those are big numbers. Those are big numbers. Dragon. Big numbers, big blunders. <laughs> We're just trying to get back to the car shop to get our dang crawling house. Jailbird's going to be waiting for a while. As we find a time vortex that shoots us a year into the future. <laughs> Alright, uh, roll another d12. If you found, like, if someone offered they'd send you forward a year in time in a portal, but you, like, age backwards a year, would you take it? Sure. I yeah. wouldn't. Question, though. I have a question. Um, Do I... You keep your memories, it's just you physically de-age a year. But is it, will I be exactly the same as I was a year ago, or will I just be, like, you know, physically younger? If that physically younger. Okay, then I would do it. How much of a difference between 24 and 23? Not much of a difference in any. It's still an extra year. I know. That's why I would, you why know, I, I would just be worried about it undoing a year's worth of progress on hormones, though, would be my concern. Man. But if that's not the case, if I would, you know, just be as I am now, but younger, then it's I would. Fucking time travel. It's it's time travel. You do it. It's so cool. Come on. The time travel. What? I said time would travel. He said I it am. in an accent. Why? I don't know. I felt like it. Don't you just feel like doing things? Sometimes. Oh my. Sometimes I'm wondering if I'm drinking too much water. Alright. Um, hmm. 
Uh, roll me another d12. Oh boy. Oh boy, Neil, how dead are we? Alright, alright. Oh, we're so dead! Snake, how could you have doomed us? Four crimson dragons, all with trials. <laughs> I fucking got it. So let's see. You roll you roll a four on a D twelve. How does that make you feel, Snake? Okay, so you're traveling along the, uh, with the cart. Uh, how are you traveling? Are you on the cart, Aegis? Um, Aegis is probably walking alongside it. I'm not sure. Okay. Actually, no, he'd probably be sitting on it and probably driving the cart. Okay, yeah, so you're, you're driving the cart. Uh, Axe, you're walking alongside it? Yeah, Axe is walking alongside it. Uh, Zora, how about you? Uh, you know, walking a bit of head in, you know... I distance, no. distance, but you know what happens. We then near. Oh, I thought I had. I thought it was a bug on my arm, but it was just my headset cord. All right. Let's see. And I guess Nastri and Rena are also on the cart with Lotus off walking as well. All right, Agus. Uh. Mm -hmm. You sudden the cart stops moving and suddenly like you feel your you feel yourself being lifted into the air as uh your <clears throat> the reins uh you have on uh Russell uh you know begin to slip from your hands. Axe uh, axe Yeah, yeah. Uh you axe when you look, uh you see that there are two large hands coming out of the earth underneath the cart and holding it up holding it aloft. Oh no! Oh no! Axe is gonna swing his axe towards one of them. Not the first time Aegis has been lifted into the sky. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. It's, this is a recurring problem for you. Yeah. I yeah. think we need to put weights on your ankles. But yeah, Axe is gonna do it. He, he doesn't have time to rage. He needs to. He, he doesn't have to time rage. to think and question whether maybe I right. shouldn't stab the giant oh, arms, I... but. Where the fuck is my sheet? What the fuck is my shit? Oh, there it is. It's, it's in the sheet, it's in the sheet <laughs> Under tab. A for Axe. We have so many sheets and like everything is... Uh, I, they're whatever. pretty orderly, I, I'll have you know. If uh, Do you have they all are. of the things open? Do you have Snake and M's categories no. open? I have every I think, category I open to, at all times. Yeah, I had them accidentally. Anyway, Axe is gonna just roll, roll strength to attack. Eh. Alright. And I don't get any bonuses and shit. You yeah. Not. That's a nine. So. Well done. Oh yeah, I do have a plus one. Hell yeah, nine. Great job. Yeah. Mm, I uh, mm, I could assist and push it up to a ten, but I can't because there's no narrative way for me to assist beyond having just yelled. Because Aegis doesn't know what's going on yet. He just uh, knows that something uh, weird is happening. Anyway, let's let's roll the damage. Yeah, roll damage. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. So how 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 does this play out? Because Axe is just swinging okay. it horizontally. So yeah, uh, you, yeah, you yeah you horizontally you just swing at the at the uh, thing with all your might, but your axe uh, only cleaves about a little bit into the arm. Like it actually stops part way through. Like that is a very solid, uh, very solid earthen arm right there, and it just keeps rising forward. And uh, in fact, actually, there's um, in fact. Uh, it just rises up further, and it uh, it takes the it takes the axe with it. it no, takes the axe no! With your hands as it rises up, and it's very large. It very quickly gets larger than you. As uh, you hold see on to the axe as it's lifted up. Uh, yeah, uh, no, no, it, it, it's rested from your hands. That's uh. Oh, I was gonna say seven to nine. This, seven to nine yeah. This makes Axe angry. Axe will rage. Yeah. 
Meanwhile, uh, Aegis yeah. is now very concerned that this car yeah. is, what, like, eight feet up? Um, at this point, probably, like, ten feet. Oh, that's even worse. As, as Axe, you see, uh, like, you know, you know, after, you know, because very quickly, as, as the arms rise very quickly up, like, you know, taking the axe with it, uh, you see, you know, a uh, sort of rounded uh, head figure in the middle of them rise yeah. up with uh, a very, uh, like, an open mouth and wide blank eyes as it keeps rising forward and heaving and heaving up okay. out, of, out yeah, of the yeah. ground. Okay, if I may, Axe is angry. He sees this, and he's gonna go, Axe mad. <laughs> he's gonna, he he's gonna, he's gonna wrestle with the head while uh, while it's holding the thing. Hey, he's yeah, not no, a smart he... man, and I'm in danger. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he's gonna he's gonna try and rip the jaw off. So, he's so I grab... assume I can be like aware of this and charge. Uh, you yeah, you're you're a bit of ways though. You're a bit of yeah, ways forward, but now. I'm I'm charging back. But yeah, Axe is it Axe is gonna grab the jaw and he's trying to rip it out. All right, roll strength. Rip and tear. Also, I think this is gonna be more superhuman. Okay. Because you know it's uh, actually when you expend a burst of human strength to do something beyond the capacity of a normal human, I think that applies here. Just rip its jaw out. All right, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, it's that is made of superhuman, yeah, to rip uh, something. Yeah, and I also still need to roll strength. All right, do that. All right. On a 10 plus, this happens as you describe it. What happens to this thing? <laughs> well, Axios cleanly rips that jaw off. <laughs> Just, <laughs> he fucking clean rips out the underside, yeah. like the whole underside of the jaw, and it. Just has a gaping hole with I don't know yeah. dirt. Thing. Yeah, you do that, and uh, it just kind of it, it it doesn't even pay any mind. It keeps rising out uh, with like that dirt like filling itself back in as you're sure. holding, I've and now you're a... holding a piece of dirt jaw. I've got a uh, question. As eventually, a... it rises out completely with legs, legs, and everything. I've got a question. Yeah. You know, did the did the cart remain level uh, as it was being raised up? Uh. Well, actually, when Axe like swung at it, it kind of got yeah, you know, got jostled a little bit, you know, a little uneven, but uh, mostly level. And I'm guessing Russell is still uh, on the ground. Yeah, the 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 again, the reins are probably slipped that slipped probably slipped out of your hands. Okay. Uh, what, but uh, yeah, so yeah, shouldn't he be attached to a cart so he should be pulled up with the cart? Uh, no, the reins were, were slipped out of Aegis's hand. Yeah, but the, the actual horse is attached to the car. Uh, snapped. It snapped. We're not nah. killing. No, we're not having another horse killed. You really no, want Russell to die? No, I don't. We just, just let the me. horse be detached from the car. Fine. The horse is smart enough to detach right. itself. We got it. So, Agus, you're about twenty feet in the air. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, you hear called from. You hear from under you, uh, just saying, "What's going on up there?" Uh, and Reina just call out from under you. She's, oh, she's a little... Aegis pokes his head like, well, actually, no, he doesn't need to poke his head. He was like on the driver's seat of the car. He just yeah. like looks down and just realizes, "Oh God." Yeah, and uh, Zor... Axe, this thing is like is more than twice your size. It is. Like you, like standing straight up, you're like crotch first with it. Axis um, goes, My God, you're huge! That means you have huge guts! As as Azor has been charging towards Axe, uh, like, <laughs> oh, oh no, Azor, like, when uh, Axe was like ripping at its jaw, Azor did just like call out to him to get Axe's attention. And <clears throat> what? As soon as I could be. At Axe's side. Who are you? Um, yeah, can I try? Enough, or late enough, Neo? Huh? For me to have caught up with Axe by now. Sure. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. I, I, as it's reached its full height, yeah. Um, just like planting down my shield, um, not taking it with me, just looking up, going to um, just to Axe. Can you throw me that high? X can. Mm. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Yeah, yeah. When you lift, you may stand one fury, and yeah, and 
You know, for we haven't of... stopped. I know we've already slashed out, but we didn't even stop to consider that maybe this thing doesn't want to kill us. Yeah, we haven't. Okay. But... And in fact, do I roll my dexterity to throw them? Read the move, I suppose. Uh, yeah, you do. Okay, good. Oh, it's been a while. Oh no! Mm, why do you choose? If you vault. Uh, vault you can't uh, choose mark off ammo. Okay, uh, let me see. So let me see. You... It's been a while since, so I don't remember. Well, exactly. actually, actually, I guess this wouldn't be Vol. You're not trying to deal damage with Azora, are you? No, that's true. No, that's, Where that's are you true. attempting to throw her? Um, just up to the cart. Okay, so this wouldn't be hefty, hefty, hefty then. I think this would be superhuman. Um, would so it? You... Yeah, so uh, I, I actually, you should have rolled strength. But they're the same, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, yeah wait. No, 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 they're my... not. No, you have no. an extra one on strength. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Would... So, so no. Yeah. Okay. So that would have been a ten. What did it? Or wait. No. Oh yeah. No. Because I have a. I have oh, yeah, a no, 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 just roll strength. Just roll strength. No. 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 That makes sense, Neil. Because I have a plus. I have an extra one for strength, but also my. Uh, I have a, I'm going to strength plus dex plus con. Right. Yes, just. Just. I feel like we should. I, I roll strength. Yeah. There you go. It's an eleven. It's even better than a ten. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it happens exactly as you describe it. What do you do? Yeah, well, actually, if I may, Asora, you should sit on the shield while Axe uses it, and he just, you know, hurls it upwards. Uh, <laughs> if you want, then sure. Well, actually, no. You sit on the shield, and he throws you ca like Captain America's mighty shield. Yeah. She's going to oh, make God, her vomit spin. as it spins violently. Yeah, yeah Azora doesn't like spinning. Mess her so sorry, it's like oh, it's like I'll try spinning. That's right. a good trick. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess. Axe try spinning. That's a good trick. Azor doesn't mm -hmm. even like riding on horses. Cause... Yeah, this happens exactly as you described it. Yeah. So, what happened? so yeah, yeah, no, he, he throws it up and like it, he throws it so hard that her she her shield, she's probably still on it. She's still on it, but it it throws so hard it launches itself into the side of the cart. Oh. So you're damaging the cart? Oh god. Um maybe. Uh I've got a thing I want to be doing as Aegis. Because Aegis uh -huh. hasn't really Which was Aegis was gonna like clamber from the driver's seat into the car and he was going to try and get down using the bike. We have a bike? Yeah, we do. We have the explosive bike. Oh yeah, but yeah, no, like yeah, I guess it would be damaged because Axe is just, you know, it's like it's setting. You're you're, you're lodging her shield into the cart. <clears throat> yeah, so right, she can, right. so she get can catch herself. You know, it's easy. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, Azura, you you the shield slams into the cart, like breaking through quite a bit of the wood. Uh, you shock uh, Reina, who is just getting out of the, her little girl cave. <laughs> oh yeah, no, uh, Azora's she, just. Like immediately right back, and Azora sort of like clambers into the cart with Reina and Nastria. Yeah, Nastria is it, Nastria. Uh, yeah, Reina's just like this is awful. Oh my, we're being lifted by a giant golem. There's Nastria's taking perch in my girl cave, and you see Nastria is just like in fetal position at the corner of the inside of the cart. But she can okay, fly. and Azora just like briefly putting it, and yeah, Azora goes and like puts her hands on either side of you know Nostra's uh, shoulders, and like, are you strong enough to glide out of here? Yes, probably. Uh, I don't want to. What, 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 what do is you it? think Agus, you can Agus, carry Reina? You are like, going to be okay. Uh, do you is, think you can carry Reina? Agus is clambering into the back and like revving up the clockwork bikes. Like we got another way down. Uh -huh. But what is Not it? Not for four of us. But what is it? Well, you see it. You can see it better from outside. Um, I, I, I can probably carry Reina. I, I carried her in the drills. Uh, yeah, okay. Reina. Reina just nods. Like you did. You did do that. See. All right. That, that, I that want. Was that was good. That was good that we did that. I think she like she just sort of like grabs Nostra's shoulders. Yeah. All right. Keep your legs about her. 
all right, you two are going to be okay, but you need to get out of here as soon as possible, and Azor is going to help move them to, like, the ledge so Nostra can get a good, you know, uh-huh. <laughs> angle to glide out. Have Axe catch them. Oh, actually, Axe was thinking... Oh, because Axe was thinking of starting to climb this giant to get his axe. So yeah, Nostria just like closes her eyes and just b- b- leaps forward with Reyna on her back. Uh, spreads like you know has the the cut the cuts in her robe just kind of uh open up uh, as like her wings fi- actually like, spread out full. Like she's actually never spread out her wings like this yeah. before. But yeah, she's just sort of yelling, and the Uranus is also yelling, and uh, they just and you just hear on their way down, like, "Oh my God, it's a golem!" You can do this. I believe in you. And uh, yeah, they they land they land a few feet away uh, as it, it is rising. It is currently, and it, and the golem uh, like brings the cart down to look at it, <laughs> like you know, it brings it to eye level to yeah. look at what to look at it, what's inside. I want to make clear, Azora has not drawn any weapons. All right. Meanwhile, Aegis is like getting getting the bike good to go. He's like, "Were you good? You following me down?" Two people can sit on that, right? Yeah, but yeah, Azora... we've, yeah, we've already done that. We did the yeah. two person on yeah. the bike yeah. going into the city. Yeah, no, Azora, Azora says that to Aegis to acknowledge that. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aegis nods. Let's also hold up a hand, you know, as the. Gollum is looking to inspect us. Keep it ready, but wait a second. That thing's loud and explosive, and we don't know it's hostile yet. Although Axe has, yeah. Me- meanwhile, Axe is starting to climb uh, this thing because again, up to climb up to his axe. Stupid yeah. big. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's sort of just looking in. It peers its head, sort of, you know, nod, sort of like cocks its head to the side before it starts shaking itself as, as it feels uh, axe uh, getting up to the, uh, uh, getting onto its abdomen. So, actual strength. Yeah, sure. <sighs> axe will never. Strength to stay on. Oh, no. That's, that's damage. damage. That's damage. Whoops. That's... Man, I'm really bad with walls today. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're gripping on. I like and, to imagine. I like to imagine uh, Axe is uh, actually palming palming his fist into but the yeah, thing. Yeah, you see it's, you be yeah, Azor, it, it it is shaking now quite a bit. Uh, Ag- Azora, Agus, how are you keeping your balance? What's going on? I mean, I guess this is a- with Agus, he's kind of weighed down by the bike. All right, and Azora, what do you do? Azora is like, cl- you know, now like clinging to her shield in the side of the cart, you know, like, right. just, like, uh, not standing and clearly, you know, very not I holding guess, up well with the uh, shape. Uh, Zora, roll con. And Aegis, uh, I suppose you can roll strength? Okay. Alright, yeah, you're, you're, you're holding on steadfast. Uh, it's just try, uh, it's, it's, it, it lets out, like, a long, like, deep groaning noise. If it wasn't Axe. hostile before. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Axis is... is it? It might just be trying to shake him off. It hasn't really attacked us. Axe doesn't Axe, care. Yeah, your, your axe is lodged in its arm. Uh, actually quite <laughs> close to where the... Uh, to, you know, close to its hand, which is holding, of course, the cart that they are on. So what do you do, Axe? Well, Axe is gonna try and pull it out. Pull the the axe out. Yes. All right. Uh, he'll he'll grab he'll grab it with both his hands and use his and leg. To push it. Oh no, he's gonna push away so he can take out his axe. Obviously. Uh, I love Axe just like just launching like himself off. off the side of a giant. <laughs> Got Axe right. as he collapses uh, to his death. At roll strike. <laughs> Like he's not gonna die. Hmm. It's not that this golem isn't that big. It was only like twice his height. Like yeah. Like... So yeah, you lift the so yeah, axe. You you lift it up. Uh, you. However, I'm gonna say you get to the axe and you start pulling it. But uh, 
you're finding it hard to actually kick off with it. Like you have your axe, but you can't like, you're sort of like straining to let loose from it. And like, you're kind of kicking at its arm at its forearm. <laughs> <laughs> sort so, of dangling. So wait, is the axe still in it, or? Yeah, yeah, you're holding on to you're you're holding on to your axe, which is holding, which is yeah. launched. Oh, okay, the axe is just. And, uh, so yeah, uh, the, the cart lifts up suddenly, shifts up suddenly further as like it peers its head under it to look at axe. 